yung motor na pag-uusapan natin ngayon mga brother has been dominating the Philippine streets since 2002 especially nung nilabas yung R125 and it hasn't slowed down ever since yung motor na pag-uusapan natin no other than the 2021 version ng Suzuki Raider FI Ako si Juan ng Motor ni Juan and welcome back sa channel natin. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel natin, be sure to like and share this video lalong lalo na kung makakatulong sa tropa mo. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, pindutin mo yung all para siguradong manonotify ka sa lahat ng videos natin. Also, follow lahat ng social media accounts natin like Instagram and Facebook para lahat ng mga motorcycle reviews, tips, and updates na makukuha mo. Before natin simulang pag-usapan itong motor na ito, mga brother, meron tayong 100k giveaway where we can win all these items. Iwan ko yung link sa description sa baba. Kaya good luck sa inyo. Join na! Balik tayo dito sa usapang Raider natin. Price at 109,900 pesos. Aalamin natin kung bakit ito nga ba, itong Raider na to ang isa sa pinakamaangas na underbone street racing motorcycle sa Pilipinas. Pagdating sa forma, alam na alam mo na handang makipag-angasan tong motor na to. For starters, we have an aggressive modern headlight SMG. Kumbaga, nakabukod siya to the rest of the bike and LED headlights na rin yung front lights natin mga brother. You can also see the forks here, some of the engine parts, kumbaga medyo naked type yung datingan niya. While some parts are exposed for styling, ang ganda din naman ng body fairings nito. You have the racing type decals all over the bike. Kumbaga, it's indicating the specs and the brand. Really being proud of that Raider uh, roots. And ang ganda ng division ng fairings na ito. Kumbaga, parang it's all placed together very perfectly na kumbaga para siyang nagiging isang solid na armor ng motorsiklo na ito. Pansinin din natin yung underbelly pan nito. Bukod sa protective covering, eh dagdag din yung definition niya sa looks ng motor na ito. At the rear, what we have is a solid matte black handlebar tsaka sporty yung integrated daylight assembly nito. Overall, I like the ivory white kasi hindi common yung kulay nito. Hindi lang to basta white. It has that classic elegant look into it. Pero alam mong maangas na maangas. Ang ganda rin ang dating ng mga red and black accents all over the motorcycle. Tapos sasamahan mo pa ng solid na red mugs na talagang gitaw na gitaw pag nasa kalsada ka. Overall, this is a very beautiful bike pero alam na alam mo na hindi ka magpapahuli sa angasan. Maangas nga yung forma mga brother pero syempre kung maangas ang forma, kailangan sumabay yung performance ng makina. Pag-usapan naman natin ngayon yan. What we have is 147.3cc engine displacement, single cylinder, 4-stroke, four 4-valve, four liquid-cooled, dual overhead cam, and syempre fuel-injected. It has a bore of 62mm by 48.8mm. Ang bore niyan mga brother, it actually has one of the biggest bore pagdating sa street racing underbone sa Pilipinas. And ang ibig sabihin lang niyan is that the bigger bore means more air at saka gas dun sa combustion, which eventually means more power. It can produce 18.2 horsepower at 10,000 RPM and 13.8 Newton meters worth of torque at 8,500 RPM. So yun nga mga brother, dito sa Pilipinas, marami na talagang mga underbone and street racing type motorcycles na nailabas. Merong GTR 150, the VF3i 185, uh, the Sniper 155 yung bago ngayon. But up to this date, eto in this day and age, talagang the Suzuki Raider FI still holds the highest power output. Imagine, 18.2 horsepower mga brother on such a lightweight underbone motorcycle. Kaya pagdating dito, ang aasahan mo talaga yung bilis 
yung superb na arangkada niya, yung okay na response niya kasi panghatawan talaga tong motor na to. For the brakes naman mga brother, what we have in front is this huge stylish disc brake. Pagdating naman sa likod, single disc brake din naman yan. Take note, wala pa tong ABS but based on how I use this motorcycle, eh, very dependable yung brakes na ito and with just the right amount of pressure, gagong gagong na pagdating sa rear brake, hindi ito masyadong sensitive kaya okay yun. At least for me because you can play around with the brakes. Brake test tayo mga brother. First, rear brake. Kaya medyo nag-skid Pero hindi kagad-kagad Kasi may allowance yung pagtapak dun sa brake eh. Hindi sobrang sensitive Which I like Let's do it one more Okay So that's for the rear It gives me a certain allowance Para hindi kagad kakagat yung brake Although nag skip siya, tinutodo ko kasi siya, pero hindi yung sobrang sensitive. So, let's try the front brake this time. This time, front brake naman mga brad. Okay. Iba, may stopping power syempre. Tsaka, yes, kid, pag front brake, one more. Okay, no? Very nice stopping power pagdating dun sa front brake. Very dependable. Even if it doesn't have ABS, obviously, sobrang lakas ng brake na ito. For the tires and suspension, unang-una, meron tong guwapong-guwapo na 17-inch mags. Ang sukat ng front tire natin is 70, 90 by 17, tubeless tires, obviously, and we also have the telescopic fork. For the rear, what we have is 80, 90 by 17, with rear monoshock, ang maganda nito is covered na rin yung shocks natin kaya medyo malinis tingnan yung gikura nito. What I have observed pagdating sa paghandle ng motor na to at pagmaniobra is that it's very nimble, it's very light, it's easy to manage lalo lalo na pagdating sa traffic kasi manipis nga yung framing nito and it's very easy to maneuver tsaka kumbaga kayang kaya talagang lumusot, very easy to handle kaya swak na swak tong motor na to for open roads and even city traffic. Ang napansin ko lang pagdating sa suspension, it's a little bit on the stiffer side. And I'm not saying that as a knock against this bike, pero it's more on given na yan pagdating sa street racing underbone motorcycle. Kasi ayaw mo naman na habang humahataw ka, eh, masyadong bouncy yung motor mo. So tama lang yung suspension nito for the type of motorcycle that it is. Pero yun nga, kung medyo mag-long ride ka marara at saka medyo mag-lubak yung dadaanan mo, medyo mararamdaman na yung mga ilang lubak pagdating sa motor na to. Okay mga brother, syempre pag-usapan din natin yung features ng motor na to. First off, what we have is a very very cool digital panel. Kung mapapansin nyo, medyo maliwanag lang ngayon eh. But what we have is uh, parang red orange na backlight niya. Nakitang kita din naman, eto kahit katanghagi ang tapat. So we have the basic information, we have the speedometer, the RPM, the gear indicator, gas gauge, saka yung odometer. Saka meron din yung trip 1, trip B or trip 2. Yan. So, ang medyo wala lang dito for the function ng digital panel is the voltmeter. Yung something that can monitor uh, our battery power para hindi tayo mabitin pag nagpo-push start tayo. But the good thing about it is meron siyang backup na kickstart. Ito yan mga brother. So, in case medyo maalangan tayo sa battery, malaking bagay ito sa lahat ng mga or sa maraming mga nagmomotor sa atin. At least meron siyang kickstart. Another... Another feature that we have is really, yung ibang mga radar kasi walang mga compartment yun. Ito kahit pa paano meron. So ito yan. What we have in front is a uh, mini compartment. So you can put uh, a bunch of things there. Maybe some, kung, kung magkakasya ba cellphone ba dyan, or igang basahan or what. Maybe wallet or even yung papers ng motor mo. At least kasya dyan. So that's what we have. And then for the gas tank, what we have is a 4-liter 
gas tank. Again, 4 liters lang yung kasha dito mga brothers. So, mapapansin nyo, wala na rin siyang ibang mga space dito for compartment. But what we have is, at least meron na tayo ditong allotment for the tools. So given na yan, kasama na yan. Again, this unit is brand new nung nakuha natin from Suzuki. But that's about it. Wala ka ng ibang space dito because you already have the compartment right here. Siyempre mga brother, pag-usapan naman natin ngayon yung riding position sa yung overall ergonomics ng motor na to. You may use me as a reference. I am 5'10 in height. So ito, sasakyan natin ngayon. So from what you can see, sobrang-sobrang lapat na lapat yung mga pa ako sa ground. Very, very uh, clear or good yung ground reach at least for my height. But given the seat height of 765mm, mababa to mga brother. So kahit na yung mga Pinoy na medyo shorter in height, kayang-kaya tong motor na to. It also has a 150mm ground uh, clearance. So kumbaga respectable na rin yan. Tsaka upon riding this, kahit na hindi pa umaandar, yung gaan ng motor na to eh. The dry weight for this one is only 109kg. So, napakagaan talaga. When it comes to the riding position, ang mangyari lang yan is, we have a shorter handlebar. So, eto siya. And then, medyo nakayuko ng konti. At saka yung uh, a little bit standard pagdating sa position ng feet natin. But, medyo papaloob pa rin. So, overall, yung position ng riding natin is aggressive. Yung tipong anytime, pwede kang sumabak sa hatawan. And obviously, if we want to control aerodynamics, pwede pa natin ibaba na ganyan because the shorter handlebar allows us to do that. Kasi pag medyo mataas at saka malapad, mas mahihirapan na tayong humataw nun. So, yun mga brother. So, very manageable, especially for uh, mga Asian height, mga Filipino height natin. Alam na alam ko, papatok din to sa inyo. After natin ipakita ang performance, features, and functions ng motor na to, what's our final take? Una, at least for my size, eh medyo narrow yung seats niya. Hindi masyadong kasha yung pwet ko. Pero, the size, kung hindi ka naman kasing lapad ko, this is perfect for you. Another thing, given the aggressive riding position, medyo mas dadala sa may yung stopover because medyo mararamdaman naman yung pagod sa kamay at saka sa likod. But, if it's just for city driving, walang problema. Ngayon, for the gas tank, it's only a 4 liters capacity. Then, city driving, walang problema. Marami tayong gas stations dito. Pero for long ride, you may have to fill up the gas every now and then. Kasi nga, medyo maliit yung gas tank niya. On the flip side, for 109,900 pesos, what you're going to get is isang bike na maangas ang forma. Talagang classic modern style na hindi na naluluma. One of the best and powerful underbone street racing motorcycle that we have. In fact, the most powerful underbone motorcycle that we have. At saka hindi ka talaga magpapahuli sa angas. So, hinahatid lang itong mga information na to mga brother para sa inyo, para alam niyo yung mga asahan nyo pagdating and if in case isa itong motor na to sa options nyo. Kayo pa rin na magde-decide if this motorcycle is perfect for you. Again mga brother, ito si Juan ng Motor ni Juan. Marami pa tayong videos and content sa pagsasamahan. Kaya ingat pa rin mga brother. Stay safe pa rin tayo. Salute! Nga pala mga brother, all the fantastic shots ng mga camera natin ngayon is brought to you by Insta360, yung 1R Twin Edition. So salamat, maraming maraming salamat Insta360 and syempre G4 Sticker Works for any decals needs, 01 Moto. Para clothing, para sa ating clothing line, Jiggy Helmet Philippines, SP on Wheels, Legend Daddy Leather Shop, tsaka syempre yung Jija Production for our video for the day. Salamat, maraming maraming salamat. <music>